Today I want to get into potentially Jungkook getting mad and upset over people telling him to go solo and what his actual honest reaction has been to that. We also need to get into Jungkook potentially feeling like his promotion was ruined and then we have the conversation over the CEO getting arrested. So I dumplings is Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. Now before we jump into this one, I have to say that this hasn't been a widespread conversation, but it's a conversation I would love to have as I think it's funny and still goes to show that a lot of people in the community have no idea how the world works. And I think this is dangerous because these aren't just people who are 13 or 9 and just don't know anything about the world, but a lot of them are late teens, even in their 20s, and have no clue how things work. Leaving the house and not having your entire life just be one person or several people is very important. And if it doesn't encourage you to do that for yourself, then do it for BTS because I see comments all the time where BTS says something that is related to something very sad like suicide or whatever and the comments are like, wow, cute video or just a bunch of hard-eyed emojis. And that's fine in some cases, but I really do feel like most of these people writing this have no idea what the video is actually about and how does that make BTS members feel when they work so hard on these concepts only for these concepts to either be completely ignored or not understood. But this is not entirely what I'm getting into today, but I want to talk about people addressing Scooter Braun and saying that he needs to get arrested. Scooter Braun has been hated by the BTS community and then also by some Western artists. I haven't defended what Scooter has been accused of doing because there's a lot of articles addressing what he may or may not have done with Taylor Swift and various other things. But I think the hate with Scooter and the label is very much forced as I don't understand the hate. One of the comments I saw recently was talking about how Scooter should be arrested for defamation of Hybe. And this is the part when I want to scream, what are you even talking about? Scooter has not said anything publicly bad about Hybe. And not only that, since Scooter has been in the label, he's been able to prove to investors that the label can still be successful without the help of BTS. And this is something that Bang PD and the other executives were trying really hard to do. Defamation means they actively try to hurt or damage the reputation of the label. Now, is the label's reputation being damaged? Absolutely. However, it's been damaged by the community itself who have attempted to make the label look terrible to even several people making up things about Scooter. This is why I personally think that the label can sue people in the community who have done this. The other part of the tweets I see is the part where people are begging Scooter to get arrested for defamation. In most states in the US, defamation isn't even considered a crime. And in a lot of states, you'd pay a fine, like a $500 to $5,000 fine, which for Scooter is literally the same as one of us just paying five cents, since he makes like 100 million a year. In some extreme cases, depending on which state, you can go to jail for a few months, but this is considered unconstitutional because a lawyer can argue free speech and to go to jail because of something they said is not okay. Which also brings back the point that defamation has to be over something said. Scooter has never publicly said anything bad about Hybe and why would he? As the CEO, I'm sure he also has stock options and his pay would be a result of the company doing well. There's also a video that went viral. It was an interview that Jungkook did a little while ago. And since we're on the subject of things being said about people and rumors, we need to talk about this one. So there's definitely a lot of people who want Jungkook to go solo and to disband. And a lot of them don't even really care about the other members of the group. So they don't care that the six members of BTS decide to just do their own thing together as long as Jungkook isn't a part of that. And that might sound like a Jungkook hater because I think most people who are outside of the fandom would think that this means that they hate that specific member. But these people actually love or allegedly love Jungkook so much they wish that for him because they think it actually benefits him and helps him. Well, apparently during an interview that he did not too long ago, he was asked about his life. And one of the things that he answered very quickly was that BTS was a very important part of his life. And he continues to say that his work with BTS is very important and it's important to him. It's important for his nation and it's important to the label and it's important to everybody. Of course, he didn't say all that, but we all know that this is true. We know that the group has won so many awards with Korea and all that sort of stuff that the group itself has been recognized in such a big way and potentially in a big way that each of the solo members may never be able to even do that. And that is pretty evident there. As we have seen each of the members go solo and none of them seem to have broken the same records that all of them combined have broken. Now the specific message that Jungkook talks about is what people had a parade with. He follows up with this message by saying that he believes that the current time, which was the time that he was doing the solo stuff, was just as important as being in BTS, if not more. And people took the if not more part to say that he clearly likes to be by himself or thinks that that's more important to be by himself. And I don't think that that was his intention when he said those words, because I think what he was trying to say is that being solo is important to garner your own fan base, to garner your own message, to garner your own person. Then when he comes together as BTS later, all of the members will be much stronger being that they're all individuals and whatever. Also feel free to call me a hater or whatever if you want to call me, 
or whatever you want to call me. I just don't think that the group going solo and the members disbanding is this god awful thing because they'll come together if they ever want to do something again. Groups come together all the time, but it's not like they're dying. It's not like they're dead. They're still all there. They're just going to be doing their own thing. Of course, what I prefer is that they stick together and continue making music of BTS, of course, but I really don't think that it's the worst thing ever if they decide to go solo. However, to bring this back, I don't think Jungkook was trying to say that he would prefer to go solo. I think what he was trying to say here is that he hopes that he can find himself within this time when he goes back to BTS. The group is going to be much stronger, which is why this current time is very important. I think him reading those comments of people saying that he should go solo and all that stuff are things that are going to make him very upset. I don't think he would want to read that. If you do want to support Jungkook's solo stuff and also watch his music videos and stuff with me and stream it, then make sure you check it out on Patreon. I'll leave a link at the top of the description. We have a lot of people within the Dumpling community here that have been a part of it and have enjoyed fangirling and laughing with his music interviews and all that stuff. Currently, there is a $1 tier that is open. so. If you're interested in joining that, it does have limited spots, but it is currently open. Just check it out at the link at the top of the description. Now, we never get a direct response to things, but this is pretty much as direct as you can get as he is addressing the group and he is addressing himself. So this is pretty much what we have to take in stride when we have these theories that can easily be disbunked if we can just kind of read between the lines and listen to what he has to say. One of the other things that has come out recently was something that he apparently hit like on on his TikTok. So he apparently posted something that some people have seen it and some other people have not. So some people were saying that he liked it and then deleted it or unliked, but no, that wasn't the case. I believe it's currently there. So it wasn't deleted. It wasn't liked and then deleted. It just was liked. And people like to consider the liked stuff like his post because it's his way of sort of updating. But you know, it's not really a post. Now, the specific post that he liked was a post where it was an AI video of him singing one of his own songs, but in a talking way and not really him singing. So the reason why this video was posted and the reason why people believe he liked it was because UMG, the label, currently has all these issues with TikTok and wants their music off the platform. So the way that some people in the community have chosen to fight against that and still have Jungkook's music and still be able to dance to it is to create these AI clips of him singing or him doing something and then that new audio is then being used to dance to. Of course, that's all well and fun and that's a great creative way to do that. So of course, when Jungkook saw that, he hit like on that and people had many theories as to if he was using this to kind of call out the label because obviously he knows that his music is being removed off the platform. And so this is kind of his way of saying, well, F you too, because the only reason why these types of AI videos were even created was to fight against the UMG ban. So clearly he knows what's going on and he knows why these videos are hitting the platform. Why they might be a little bit of shade there, I don't think he is specifically upset. I think he realizes that this is probably the right move. And I'm not saying that I agree with the UMG and TikTok separation, but clearly the label and TikTok both have their reasons as to why this is happening. And so I'm sure that he is aware that there are reasons to both sides and it's not going to take it personally, if that makes sense. As businessmen and as people who have been in the industry for a really long time, they understand that things aren't usually as black and white and things aren't as personal as people can take it. So things like this have reasons behind it from either side and both reasons are probably legit and real. And so you can't really have a grudge against that. If Jungkook wanted to have a grudge against TikTok and say that it was an awful platform for not paying creators enough or whatever UMG was arguing, then he could have just chosen to leave the platform and just not use it. But he has chosen to use it. In fact, that's really his platform of choice. He doesn't really have another one. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.